Hello and welcome to the next video that's all about middleware. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can create some, where it lives, and then how we can use it. So let's jump right on in and let's get over to the code. Here we go. So everything here we need in this tutorial slash video is going to live in the server folder. So first place we're going to go is inside the server folder, not in any modules or layouts or anything like that, is the middleware. So this file, we anything we export is going to be used throughout the entire program or accessible throughout the entire program for middleware. Uh, so we do have some utility functions such as find user and down below you'll see one uh, get token. But in between all those we have the exports is authenticated, is admin, is Mongo ID, and verify. Uh, these middleware currently help secure the system. Uh, this first one just make sure they're authenticated. It doesn't necessarily check for credentials based off of like you have, it checks for credentials, but doesn't necessarily go in and check for, hey, do they have access to a particular blog or link or whatever it might be? It just checks that they're actually authenticating the system. Uh, the next one is admin is pretty self-explanatory just checks if they're logged in and then double checks that hey they are an admin and then we have an is mongo id so whenever you're sending us a mongo id or like a parameter you want us to delete or a parameter you want us to update or get uh, you can tag on a mongo is mongo id to check if it's a valid mongo id because if not you know we don't want you sending us bad data because why is it we shouldn't have to go to the database and make a terrible call that we know was never going to send back if it's not even properly formatted. So we have this middleware used to. And then lastly, we have the verify middleware, which it takes a little more in depth look into, hey, their token. Forget if they're just still authenticated with the regular login token of Passport. Let's double check their token of uh, what we've created for a JWT on the front end so we can use it to talk back and forth. And this one's a little more in depth. Um, this is if if someone's creating something, you really want to verify that they really still have this active session that they're able to create stuff. Uh, because we sign a token every time we go out to them, so we can double check we signed it on the way back in. With uh, If any of you have ever looked up JWT, it's something we're going to be exploring in another video. But just to cover the surface real briefly, but let's look at now creating a middleware. Let's just let's just copy the top part here. This let's close it up, and let's just do is logged. Let's just name it something. And basically, we're gonna come in here, and we are gonna console.log the date time. So we're just gonna log a new date, and we're gonna log it dot now. We're gonna run this. So basically every time we run this, we are going to, oh, it's being difficult, oh well, for the moment. Every time we run this, we're gonna say, hey, just log a new date. So you could kind of use your imagination to put whatever you want in here. Uh, lastly, to make sure that it continues on, it doesn't stop here in this middleware, we're gonna have to call the next. So we're gonna log it, call next. Actually, we could even just call date now the mirrors because probably what it wants all right so let's go down into the systems module and let's go to the routes there and let's add this on so the uh, the easiest way to add a middleware on because middleware really are just functions is right after the uh, app dot get in the route that you're going to be doing it to so like auth dot is let me go grab the name too is logged in comma simple as that so let's go grab this API testing route and let's let's go see our uh, stuff get logged we will have to restart it real quickly because node mod on my machine machine has just been uh, not one to listen lately <laughs> oh well so API testing and you'll see a new date has been logged in the console log. So middleware 
extremely useful and powerful. We can use it to authenticate. We can use it to check their login. We can use it to do just about anything you want to do between where the user logs a route and where uh, the ending is. And the ending might be getting data. The ending might be uh, just sending back a file. The ending could be whatever. But the, the whole idea of the middleware is to sit in the middle between the both of them. So it is extremely powerful and useful for us here. And hopefully this brought some insight for you on how to add it, how to create it, how to look at it, how to find it, how to use it. That's it for us. Uh, if you got any questions, find us on GitHub, find us on some social media sites, or uh, comment here on this video.